To be completely honest, you know, I realized that I said I was going to do picture in picture today, but I am having a shit-tacular day. I cannot even begin to explain it. Um, I've, I've just had really bad luck. Like, even, even worse luck than this game. You know, this game actually really wasn't that bad on luck. It's really good. That's why I'm uh, showing you guys this today as opposed to, you know, any other game. Because it's, it's one of the better ones I had saved up, but I figured it's the least I could do to make it up to you guys for not being able to do a picture in picture. Because, um... You know, shit happens, and I try. I try to deal with it. I do, and just it's it's not letting up. It's really not. But um, anyway, how's it going? I I try not to get too depressing here, I suppose. But I got an RE match against Super Itsu, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Kabutops. I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Rotom. Now, because Rotom is naturally faster, I don't really know what item it has. I figure I might as well just go for the Stealth Rocks, just in case he wants to. You know, I don't even know what he would do. I'm just pretty intent on getting my rocks up. So. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for another Leaf Storm to try to finish me off. He ends up missing. Not really too vital since he's at minus two. I do quad resist it. Probably would have done a little bit, but not a lot. Um, thing is, is he switched out anyway, which gives me the opportunity to, to uh, set up a home clause. Now, I don't see leftovers on this Buffalant. There's a lot of things, you know, items being present and items not being present. You know, it's just a lot of item flags in this game. And because I'm a little more observant, it actually helps me out a little bit. But um, what I'm noticing on this Buffalant is it doesn't have leftovers. So I'm thinking it might be Life Orb and it might be a... Uh, a faster less bulky variant than I think it is and because of that because I'm only plus one I'm thinking I can actually take it out from that range now I do with a crit which is I'm a little iffy as to whether or not that matter but I see he brings his Rotom next so I figure oh fuck it you know I might as well just go to Kabutops you know I hate to use it as a suicide lead it's supposed to be like a weak armor you know foggy sash lead get your stealth rocks up and you know how that works you guys have seen this Kabutops before but uh, thing is, is you know, I, I have my rocks up and that's all I can really ask at Kabutops right now. But I do get the switch advantage because of that, so that's kind of nice, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go into Durant again, go for the X-Scissor because it's stab, super effective. Uh, Uxie has a little bit of damage on it, which I'm hoping is going to be enough, but it looks like I needed a little bit more, you know, a little bit more stopping power if I was adamant that would have done a job. But um, I don't know if he's running like a, you know, a Jolly or a Timid Uxie, whatever the fuck it is. But the uh, thing is, if he took it that well, he's probably got defensive investment anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, he's going he's gonna to set up the Stealth Rocks on my Paralysis. Um, he got him up safely anyway. I'm pretty sure that's all he was really banking for. But now that, you know, he actually ended up living, he's going to U-turn it, save it for later. And I believe he goes into his own Durant, which is something I was kind of worried about. It's something I need to get out of the way before I can uh, send in my Masharna that I have on this team. Because I don't know if he's running a max speed variant at the time. The thing is, is he's not, and that will actually come into play later. But uh, he's going to set up a home clause while I'm paralyzed. He knows that since he's, you know, at almost full health and, you know, I'm at neutral since I had to switch out and switch back in from earlier because I wrote him. But uh, I'm going to go for the Stone Edge, and here is where I notice that he's pretty bulky. He takes that Stone Edge a little bit better than I think he will. Or, you know, at least as I've seen Durant's take them. And uh, he's going to hit me with his own Stone Edge and end up taking me up. So, not really that big a deal to me. I was paralyzed anyway. At least I got some damage off on it. Now, I see leftovers, which is like, oh, you know, some max speed things kind of run leftovers, something like that. And I wasn't really noticing, you know, keeping in mind Stone Edge that much anyway. I'm, I'm more surprised that I hit it, you know, I wasn't paying attention to damage in that moment. But he switches out, which is like, I didn't realize I was actually kind of bluffing the scarf with that. I didn't mean to. I was just like, I'm just going to set up an agility on the off chance you miss or I live. That is my mindset right now. Cause I'm kind of fucked, <laughs> but uh, he brings in his Gastro to take the predicted T-Bolt or Hidden Power Fire, you know, whatever he wants to do. Actually, you know what? Gastro isn't even fucking... are you? Thinking about it. I, th I think I okayed it with him, but uh, I don't know. Just got off the topic here. But I know he's going to go for the Scald or the Toxic. I might as well go into uh, Masharna to get the Synchronize in case he wants to go for... In case he gets the Burn on the Toxic. Not Burn on Toxic. Wow, it's been a long day. Burn on the Scald, or, you know, he hits the Toxic. If he goes for the Toxic, that'll be even better. I'd prefer that on uh, Gastro much more than the uh, the Scald. But, as I said, you know, like 5,000 times he goes for the Toxic. As uh, he goes into his Durant, I know he's going to switch it in, so I actually decide to switch out into my Rotom. And here is the main part where item uh, things kind of come into play, because he got his own Stealth Rock set up. That means my leftovers have to activate to give me back a little bit of health, and his leftovers activate because, you know, he's less than full. But... For those of you, you know, paying attention at home that don't understand what significance this has, uh, since my leftovers, you know, I gain mine first, that means I'm faster, which does confirm my initial suspicions that he was bulky and I can take him out with a hidden power fire. 
Now, I found that pretty cool that I was actually paying attention to that, because I thought I was going to get swept at this point. But um, I actually dig him out, which is nice. You know, in comes Murkrow. I believe I speed up this part because that Murkrow lives up to his name and can be a little bit of a biatch. So uh, I'm going to switch in my uh, my Ampharos, not really knowing what this Murkrow wants to do, to be honest. I mean, it'll probably sub, it'll roost. Um, that's what they do. They're, main, they're meant to stall in a different way than Sableye does. You know, you've seen me use the Paris Trapping version. But I speed it up. Because, uh, you know, I think that's all he does. He just ends up sub-roosting, and this is not the correct Pokemon to be doing this against, especially against something with a 100% accurate, you know, stab, super effective move. Eviolite will not help you out here. This is not how you use Murkrow. This is bad, and you should feel bad for this. So, uh, he goes for the roost. I do predict it here, and I go for the Focus Blast, nail him right in the face, and uh, that ends up taking him out even with the Eviolite. So, sped that up a little bit. This match is a little bit long, but I thought it was pretty cool, so... Uh, in comes uh, Rotom is gonna trick me, you know, I really don't mind having a modest Scarf Ampharos. I mean, I'm an agility set anyway, I want to be fast. So, I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast, and I'm faster than him right now. I know that, well, I don't know that for a fact, I'm assuming I should be faster than him. So, I figure I might as well just stay and try to land a Focus Blast on him anyway, because that's what I was going for initially. And uh, I hit my second one, but it's on a Gastro, which is like, specially defensive anyway, so... This thing used to be RU, and now it's up to tears, and I'm having trouble with it when I shouldn't be, but I did okay it. You know, I'm just I'm just kind of reflecting on what, what could be going on here. So, I go to Masharna, and I'm like, okay, time to do this shit, you know, since Durant's gone. You guys know this set. It's the one I use on Mosh Pit. It's the, uh, the Calm Mind's third power, but this is before I switch it to... Uh, to Resto Chesto, so I'm just going to boost up a little bit here, you know, Moonlight whenever I can. Hope Toxic Damage racks up a little bit prettier than it does on prettier on him than it does on me. But I go for Moonlight on the Switch. I'm not really sure what his Uxy wants to do being in here. Probably just go for a U-turn, get some super effective damage. Doesn't really do that much, so I mean, it's a Uxy, so... Uh, go for another Calm Mind because I'm not scared of Uxie, as I mentioned. You know, I'm really high on the special defensive end right now. But I'm taking a shit ton of toxic damage. So he goes for a recover, you know, just to reset his toxic counter as well. I'm going to fire off a stored power. Does half, you guys. So Now, the thing is here is because toxic damage racks up. If he recovers again, he'll be, uh, he'll be even worse than he was before. Now, uh, kind of a shitty way to use Misharna, especially if I did have the rest of Chesto at this point. But um, it brought him down to below half to the point where I can manage Gastro now. So... I'm going to go into my uh, Rotom, who will definitely scare him off with the Leaf Storm. At least that's that's my hope. So I'm going to go for the sub. I'm surprised that he actually stays in and, you know, he's going to end up going for the recover, tries to take that opportunity. I know he's going to switch out next turn, though, so I'm, I'm safe behind a sub, relatively safe anyway. So he's, he gets a health back. I think I left this part a little bit slower than I needed to. I am so sorry for that. Oh, my God. It's 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 been an interesting morning, to say the least. Interesting morning, fairly rough day. Um, I don't even know when the Internet's going to be up. Uh, if it does pop up and you guys see this at like 5, 6 o'clock, I'm assuming that's near the end of their work day, so we'll just work around that. But um, I take him out with the Leaf Storm, don't really know what he was doing staying in, he probably just wanted the Spec Attack drop. And why did I leave this so slow? It seems slower than it was before. Hmm, that's me being a numbnuts, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please forgive me. So, in comes this Rotom, and I'm just going to go for the minus two Hidden Power Fire. Hopefully it does a decent amount of damage because it's super effective, but it's not Stab. I'm not really expecting too much out of it. It does about a fourth, you know, I think I can I think I think can handle this. So, he goes for the Leaf Storm because, you know, I only times two resist it, and it is Stab off of him as it would be off of me. Um, it is going to break my sub, but I'm, I can get to the point where I can sub, you know, quicker than he can. And I think because he was Scarfed, he's actually modest as opposed to... Uh, Timid because I think I'm t I think I'm timid. So I go for the substitute again just to see what he wants to do. Um, it turns out he tries to go for the pain split, does not get away with it. Now the best thing he can do is he can go for the leaf storm or the volt switch. You know the volt switch to get uh, switch adv advantage, I guess. But the thing it's it's not going to work out for him because I quad resist the, the stab electric move as is. And um, I think his best course of action here would probably to have been to keep going for leaf storms until I broke. Until the sub broke and then switch on my sub and then try to handle it from there. Since, you know, that would have pressured me to make a sub in the first place because I don't want to take a pain split. But he Volt switches out. It does not break my sub and he goes into his Uxie, which will die almost to rocks, which pissed the crap out of me. But I know I can take him out with the Thunderbolt. Even if he, if, if he wants to switch into Rotom, you know, to try to sponge that T-Bolt, he'll die to rocks. So he figures he might as well just stay in and, you know, maybe for some fucking reason he'll take it and go for the U-turn. Not the case. Not what happens. So... I end up dying on that one, and I think his last one left is his uh, his Rotom, so minus two, you know, lawn mower thing is just gonna take him out from here. 
but he decides to run save us a little bit of time. So I actually, I actually had a lot of fun with that RU match, despite the. Uh, I think you know what? I th yeah, I think that I think this was RU. Might have might have said NU RU kind of thing. Makes sense to me. You know, Gaster's a little out of place, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you're welcome to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to your thing. Um, I notice you guys leaving comments on the tournament video. I'm gonna up, I update it, that at the end of the night, so I don't have to keep at it all day. You know, it'll, it, you'll see an updated bracket tomorrow morning. So, um, other thing is that while the internet was down, I saved me a shit ton of pokes, and I mean like a shit ton, like. I'm talking like 70 to 100 range, something like that. Just a lot. So next time we stream, you'll see some new faces. Um, I did buy a new hinge for that, so my DS is currently in pieces. Again, you know, go figure. But uh, uh, the instant I get that hinge in, we'll be good to go, and we'll have ourselves a good old, uh, good old weekend stream. Or maybe I can't even say tomorrow because I was supposed to get it today. Okay. Um, I'm rambling. I'm going to try to end this before 11 minutes. Might as well just end it now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.